there are literally hundreds of things you can do to go faster on the bike. Lose weight, adopt an aerodynamic position, build your strength, or even get a professional coach. But the problem with any of this is that it takes time and heavens forbid, a bit of effort. But what about if you want to go a bit faster right now without any of that waiting around nonsense? Simple, you make the bike faster. Okay, as proper cyclists, that's perhaps not quite the attitude to have, but there are several very quick and simple improvements you can make right now to your bike that will instantly increase your overall average speed. The first big one is tyre pressure. Essentially, if your tyres are not at the optimum pressure, it will increase your rolling resistance, making it harder to ride and reducing your speed. Tyres naturally deflate over time, so I would suggest giving them a top up roughly once a week. Now, correct pressure is a bit of a vague term. If you look at the wall of your tyre, it will give you a recommended maximum pressure, but the correct pressure will be individual and vary depending on factors such as tyre width, weight of the rider and road surface. Generally speaking, you will need to have a slightly higher pressure in the rear tyre so that both front and back are roughly the same when you're actually sat on the bike. Being a heavier rider, I personally inflate my tyres to 100 psi and that seems to work pretty well for me and I can certainly tell when the pressures drop below this. Obviously, lighter riders will need slightly less pressure and heavier riders slightly more, but never be tempted to exceed this maximum limit, as it could result in a catastrophic blowout, which would not be good, especially if you were riding along at speed. As an aside, if you want to get a bit fancy, you can even try the old school cyclist trick of covering your inner tubes in talcum powder to reduce the rolling resistance even further, regardless of tyre pressure. Next on my list is having the correct saddle height. Now I cover how to find the correct saddle height in more detail in another film, but for the moment, let's just say that if it's not correct, you won't be pedalling efficiently, and if you're not pedalling efficiently, you're losing speed. As a general rule of thumb, you want to have your saddle height set so that you'll have a slight bend in your knee when the pedal is at the six o'clock position, and your hips won't rock from side to side when you're actually pedaling. Adjusting saddle height is very simple and straightforward, and in most cases can be done quickly and simply using an Allen key. So that's you pedaling efficiently, but that will be a complete waste of time if your gears aren't working properly. Misaligned gears, chattering gears, gears not indexing properly are more than just an annoyance. If you think about it, the chain is the thing that transfers the energy from your legs actually to the back wheel. And if some of this energy is wasted being converted into an annoying clonking, that's also the sound of your average speed going down. Many people are a little intimidated when it comes to adjusting their rear derailleur, but it's actually really simple and should be a part of your monthly basic maintenance regime. Assuming that you don't have a bigger problem such as a bent mech hanger, you can index your gears with nothing more than an Allen key. I'll show you how in another film. And finally, cleaning and lubing. A clean bike is a faster bike particularly when it comes to the chain and drivetrain. Again, when these moving parts get dirty, a small amount of your precious energy is being lost due to unnecessary friction. Simply removing that dirt and further reducing the friction with lube will reclaim that lost energy and be converted back into a little extra speed. Now, don't be disappointed if you don't suddenly see a dramatic increase to your overall average speed. The biggest way to do that is to improve your power to weight ratio, and that will take time and a great deal of effort. 
While you're working on that though, why not simply enjoy the modest increase in speed these improvements will give you and feel good knowing that the bike you're riding is as clean and as efficient as it can be. Thanks for watching.